Jose's Kitchen, new food for a new mood. Today I'm going to show you how to make Taiwanese popcorn chicken, aka Yan Su Ji. I've really been craving this chicken for a while. If you never had it before or you are a big fan of snack, I definitely recommend you trying out this recipe. Majority of the ingredients I'm going to use you can find in Asia grocery store. So I hope you have access to to get some or you can just get them online I will put links in the info box well let's start to cook I bought about one half pound of boneless and skinless chicken thighs the reason I'm using chicken thigh instead of chicken breast is that the meat is more tender and juicy so first we need to cut chicken into cube shaped pieces in a medium bowl, combine the chicken with minced ginger, minced garlic, cooking wine, and light soy sauce. Mix them well and set aside. I learned from a Taiwanese chef that to make the crispy surface of chicken, we need three important things. The first is crispy powder. This is cheese crispy powder. However, I couldn't taste or smell any cheese flavor. Add the crispy powder into a bowl. Pour in cold water. Whisk them together. Lift the whisk up. The batter should be thick and dripping slowly like so. To add an extra crispy texture, sweet potato starch and rice flour. Combine them together. Okay, now we can start to deep fry our chicken. Turn on the heat to medium to get the temperature to around 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Coat chicken in the batter, then in mixed flour. And then place into hot oil. Fry a few pieces of chicken at a time. Do not add too many. Let chicken fry on both sides until batter becomes a golden brown color for about 2-3 to three minutes. When the chicken is done, remove and place on a plate. Now we are going to double fry. The double fry process works to keep the moisture in the center of the chicken while um, adding crispiness to the surface. Turn off the heat to high. Wait about 2 minutes to get the temperature to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then add chicken back to the oil to fry for 30 seconds to 1 minute. Remove and place in a large bowl lined with a paper towel to drain excess oil. Mix 5 spice powder and salt. Sprinkle some on the top of chicken and toast them to make sure all pieces are coated. I suggest you to make the seasoning ahead of time because it is way easier to coat the chicken when it is hot. If you serve this chicken within 2 hours also, it will be still crispy. If you want to save some for later on, you can just fry once, then put it into freezer. So when you want to eat it, just take it out and put it into hot oil for refry. Hope you enjoy this recipe. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Or if you like to get the notification on my next video, here is the easy step to do it. Oh, and also don't forget to visit my website to get detailed measurements of each ingredient. New food for your new mood. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.